Hey, how are you? Hey, uh, Michael, first off, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you for taking the time talking to me about, about the movie. I, I sure. love Western, so, you know, it's like an easy sell for me. Um, I think the first question has to be, what is it about Western? They don't seem to get old. They, don't, they all seem to work. It's just that this gender in, 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 you know, in cinema that just works. What is it about Westerns that all stories, they, they, they just seem to connect and just work? Well, Westerns are classic stories that reach back all the way to Greek mythology. They're classic, they're classic Greek mythology. They're, they're, they're classic uh, uh, storylines that don't have the, um, the complications of today's society, you know, of cell phones and cars. And, it, it, and so you can really get down into the, into the nitty gritty of the story and the character, because that's what makes movies work is characters, right? And so when you, when you get rid of all that other exterior all those other external forces and you get down into the storyline and the personalities and the characters and the motivations it works plus everybody loves to see you know the sets and the horses and and all of that the whole cowboy suit the whole the whole everything the whole everything yeah um i want to ask what is it about the story that caught your eye this, this, this story from written from jerry robbins what is it what is it about the story that that, that, that told you hey i want to work on it well, I, I mean, I have to tell you, any father-son story is really powerful, and this is really a father-son story. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, th that's the driving narrative throughout the whole thing. I mean, imagine being a father, and you come back home, and your kid's been kidnapped, and it's he's been kidnapped by a by a a man you know you have a history with, so he's not going to kill your son; he's going to mm -hmm. torture your son, mm -hmm. and time is ticking, you know. And then we're talking about the Old West. And so what's interesting about the Old West is, you know, you just can't jump in a car and drive 120 while they're driving 60 miles per hour. You know, you're on a horse and you have to, there's, there's scenes in the movie where, you know, they, they, the, the, uh, you know, deputy uh, uh, that that's with him uh, played by Calder Griffith can't, can't sleep. He's tired because they have to catch up to him, you know? So there's this driving force behind it. And that's, that was a pretty powerful storyline. I, you just you mentioned something that I absolutely love about this story is that is that it's a really family delivered story. Uh, again, it has a lot of heart. It has a lot of uh, you know. The, 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 you just mentioned yourself that the dad, the the father and son relationship is so important. And I want to talk about the casting. The casting is great. I had the opportunity to talk to Caitlin, Caitlin uh, a while ago, yeah. and I absolutely he blew my mind. I mean, he blew my mind with with Jed. Um, what, I, what was it about him that, you know, you, you felt that he was the right fit for the character? Well, first of all, just story-wise, I just want to mention Jerry Robbins, who wrote the script, because it's really his, his mm -hmm. creation. It's all Jerry. But Gatlin Griffith, so I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't hire particularly Gatlin and Calder for their, uh, I, I didn't know much about them as actors. What mm -hmm. I knew about them is that they're cowboys. They really are the real thing. Yeah. And their father, Tad Griffiths, is a famous uh, uh, stuntman, wrangler. And I needed, I needed guys who could ride horses and act. And Gatlin, uh, I'm sure you've seen Gatlin. You know, he's been acting since he was a kid. Mm -hmm. Calder hasn't been acting as much as Gatlin has. Mm -hmm. and, and the two of them look nothing alike. So they're brothers, but they actually don't play brothers in the film. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, for me, it's it's sometimes with an actor, you don't you don't really know what you're going to get until you're there in Wyoming on set, you know. But I needed actors who are so comfortable on horses that then they can stop worrying about the horses and do their job as an actor. And that's what Gatlin and Calder were able to do. And I knew I had that going for me, so I knew no matter what, those guys would be really comfortable as as cowboys. And then we could really bring out their performances, but I didn't have to do much. The Gatlin and Calder are fantastic. And so sometimes you get lucky. Honestly, I got lucky. The guys, the guys are great, you know? Yeah, he did great. And, and no, don't, don't, don't sell yourself short. I think the direction was really good. Also, I think you did a really good job at selling both the heart of the whatever, you know, what's going on between son and father. I want to get back to Jed and, and, and Gatlin himself because I asked him about the beard and I was like, what? You look so different. He looks so like, Two different person, and he said, yeah. "Well, I I always not sure what the director wanted for me." Did you ask him just to brew the beer? No, I didn't ask him. I mean, I told I always tell the guys to have some facial hair, don't shave for a while, so then we can decide. Also, the mm -hmm. old west, when you know, what are they shaving? But I really, I saw, I didn't, I didn't. When he showed up uh, in Wyoming with a full beard, I was like, yes, because it made him look like a, you know, because as you can see, Gatlin has a baby face, so with the beard, he looks like a grown man, you know. Um, so uh, that 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 
it worked great. It worked out great. And plus it also, you know, I mean, Calder and Gatlin look nothing alike, but even more so, you know? Yeah. Um, I want to go back to Jed and, and he played such a, I mean, Gatlin played such a really good bad guy. And I, something that I loved about the story, uh, besides obviously the father and son relationship was him, he, Jed being so, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to get back on him. I, I want to get back to him. I want to, I want to, you know, I, I, he had this, rage against uh, Mac, Mac, McMaster's and through all, all through the whole story you did a really good job with direction of always like uh, keeping up the edge a lot okay he may he may get away, get away with it he may actually hurt the boy and, and get away with the whole story did did what did did Jerry and yourself like, sit down and work this whole story in this song uh, arc with uh, Jed and and did we did in, 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 in a way did we like want the, the bad guy to get away with something you know, I mean, it's all Jerry's creation. It's not mine. Uh, I, I, we didn't really change much from the script. We, I mean, once you edit a movie and you've, I mean, the movie, when we, when we first completed the movie, it was like an, uh, 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 two hours long. And then you got to trim it down, trim it down. So scenes and pieces go away. So that's where me sculpting it and on set sculpting, but it was Jerry's script, you know, verbatim. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, with Gatlin, um, mm -hmm. It was really about, first of all, you know, you always want to make an actor feel comfortable on set to really become that character. There was this one scene that was early on that we were shooting where um, Gatlin, uh, the boy, the boy gets away and, uh, and Gatlin has to yell at his guys and get in their faces. And Gatlin was getting in their faces, but I think because it was, you know, he's just met the guys and it's one of the first scenes we're shooting. I don't know if he felt comfortable. And I said to Gal, I said, look, this is the way I want you to do it. And I, and I, I said, just step away. I said, let me get in there. And I just get in there and I like grab each guy by the shirt. And I pull him, you know, and I grab the next guy. And he's like, oh, you want me to get like really physical, and like really emote. I'm like, yeah, just give it to them. You know, everybody needs to feel like you are on edge and you could just lose at any time and kill any one of them, which, which he practically does. I mean, he, you know, he stabs Vernon and, uh, um, so, uh, you know, so I think Gatlin got it right off the bat, like, you know, and then he, he, he did so well just sticking with that the whole way. Um, and it's a hard character to play because you don't want to seem over the top, but you're also really raging inside, you know, um, I, uh, you know, he was awesome. He did great. Yeah. My, my, uh, Michael, I really enjoyed the movie. I, again, I, I'm a fan of Western, so it was an easy sell for me. It wasn't that difficult to enjoy it. I really think you did a great job, and both yourself and Gatlin and, and Jerry, the story, that's plus really heartfelt with the father and son relationship. I want to thank you for your time, and thank you for uh, having the opportunity to give that to you. Well, thanks. Uh, and it's playing in something like 30 theaters across the country, so uh, I hope people can see it in the theater, because there's beautiful drone shots, big wide vistas, and it's really something that should be a theatrical experience. Yeah, it's beautiful in Wyoming. Obviously, that, that, that place is just, it's perfect to film. So thank yeah. you again Thanks. for your time. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.